Hello and welcome to the APDL video tutorial series. Today I'm going to go through just a general overview of navigation through the app. When you first open the app, your view should look like this. This is our menu. The menu can be opened and closed by tapping this menu button at the top left or by swiping the screen left and right. The menu is longer than the screen in this case using an iPhone 6 and the menu itself can be scrolled up and down as well. Starting at the top, we have the status board. Tapping on the status board item in the menu brings up the status board. We'll go over more details of each section later. For now, just how to navigate. Next on the menu, under the notifications section, we have the alerts page. The alerts page will show us any various alerts or notifications that are generated by APDL. At this time, we have no unread alerts and they could pop up for a number of reasons that we'll get to later. Going back to the menu, we have the cross-check section next. Cross-check tells us right in the menu here that we are up to date, so there are no cross-check items uh, outstanding. And again, in the cross-check page, it shows all past flights are closed out. Cross-check is primarily used for bringing to your attention any flights that are missing data that cannot be closed out because something is left off. This will help you keep your logbook up to date without any missing data. Next on the menu, you can see we have the duty area. The duty section contains four items. First one is titled Next Trip Begins on the 28th of August. This line will change depending on what your current or next duty happens to be. Tapping on this line takes us to the trip view, which we'll get to later. This is one of the most common quick and easy ways to access your trip information on a regular basis when you use APDL day in and day out. Next in the duty section is the schedule page. You can see the schedule page for this month is August. If I tap on the schedule line, it gives us a linear view of each day in the month, and it can be scrolled to current and future months or past months. This is displaying data that's been entered into APDL. Current day is highlighted in green. That's a legality indication, which we'll get into later. Going back to the menu, we have the calendar item next. This serves the same purpose as the schedule view. It just shows our schedule in a the calendar format rather than a linear format. This view can be scrolled just as before. We can also tap on each individual day and be taken to that trip view. Our legality system just detected our legality issues that we had pop up a few minutes ago. I'm going to tap on that notification just to clear it, and we'll come to that later. The next uh, we have under the duty section is the importer. Now, I'm using the sample log at this time for the video, so this is not a feature that's implemented in the sample log. In order to use this, you would have to sign in using your own data. If you did have an APDL subscription or trial, this is where you would go to import your trips from your company schedule data for a quick and easy import into the app rather than having to create each entry manually. Moving on, we have the legality section of the menu. We get a legality lozenge, that's the green icon here, uh, next to status that tells us that we are legal for the current day. Tapping that gives us the legality page. We can scroll through and we have a few graphs here to show our current legality status. There is quite a lot of data on the legality page, so we'll definitely come back to that in a different video. Next under the status line, we have the what if page. This is where you can put in certain scenarios, such as if you're delayed on a certain flight or you anticipate that the next flight will be delayed, you can go in and put in estimated times for taxi out time, flight time, taxi in time, things of that nature, and get an updated legality status, as well as a projection for the way the rest of your day is going to look by using the what if page. Moving on, we have the miscellaneous section. First item in the miscellaneous section is a weather map. As you would expect, the weather map displays radar data overlaid over our route and we can scroll and zoom the map. After the weather map, 
we have the payroll section. We do have a preview of our monthly gross pay right there on the menu. It's also repeated here at the top of the detail section. The payroll section just shows us a quick graph of our credit versus actual. Lots more details to be had down here at the bottom of the page. Definitely get into more detail with that in another video. Summary page next on the list here. Same idea. The difference being this does not include or does not reflect payroll, uh, rather flight parameters. So day versus night, block versus actual, things like that. APDL has a search feature. We have a few, uh, actually quite a list of items we can select. We can also perform a search for items we have entered in APDL. Another feature that we provide for APDL is a resume function. We have a few different resume formats available that a user can choose that will reorganize the resume into different layouts. We'll get into how to customize the resume report later. Next up we have the account section. I'm going to skip the sign in button here because that will log me out of the sample log here. But when you decide you want to use your own data and you want to create an account we would tap the sign in line and create a user account there. We'll go through that in a different video as well. For the settings, naturally APDL is a relatively complex app. We have multiple settings available and we'll go through this again in another section. Sync is not applicable in the sample log mode. Naturally we're not syncing any information because you don't have your account set up yet. Under the help section we have resources. These are links that can take you directly to regulations for FAR 117, some supporting documents, APDL documentation, which is a written user guide for APDL, with step-by-step -step guidance on many features of the app. Also, we have the APDL.net portal, which includes our schedule importer, and more features to come in the future. Next, communication. If you need to submit a bug report, request a feature. We also have a website set up for voting on new features you'd like to be added to the app. You can go look at other users' recommendations and upvote or downvote them. We encourage everyone to submit an app review. After you've used APDL, let us know how you feel, how you like the app, and help others that may be interested in using it get feedback. Last, the About page. It's pretty simple, that's our splash screen. You can customize your name as displayed here. Just tap on the name at the top, and you can type in your name. We'll just go with new user in this case, and that will be saved each time you open the app. Version information is listed at the bottom here, as well as on the menu item for the About page. And if you're interested, here's the team that contributed to creation of the app. That's a quick overview of the APDL menu navigation. We we'll hope you'll stick around for some more videos. Thanks for watching.